Welcome back to another episode of Fish and Floyd. Today I'm with Matthias. Make sure you guys check out his channel. He has some awesome videos. But yeah, today I'm really excited. So about a couple months ago, I ended up releasing my pet bass. It was getting way too big for the tank. And there wasn't really much to make a video on. So I just ended up releasing him. But yeah, today I finally have a chance to get out and try to catch another tank pet. We're gonna go for either another little bass or a tiny pea, whatever we can get, and let's just get right to it. So game plan is we're gonna use this net to catch a bunch of little mosquito fish and then we're gonna we're gonna fill the bucket with them and we're gonna go out and have this ultralight setup. It's just like an ugly stick setup. And yeah, this'll work. We're gonna use this to try and catch the baby bass and yeah, this should be sick. All right guys, so we made it to this little pond and there's a lot of little mosquito fish and baby bass here. So we're gonna try to get whatever we can with a net and then we're going to try to target some bass. Dude, I got like five. This is what we're after guys, these little tiny mosquito fish. Nice, on the sabiki. I guess Matias just got this on a sabiki rig. Little bluegill. He's beautiful. We'll put him in the bucket for now. I right, guess we got a little sabiki hook with a live mosquito fish on it, and we're gonna cast this out and try to get hopefully a baby bass right here. Yeah, right in our little pocket. Got him. Ooh, a mine. Guys, we got a little tiny mine. Oh, there he goes. And we do not have our minnow. Guys, we're wacky rigging these little minnows straight right through the middle of their body. And the, this guy, this is the biggest one we have so far, I think. And he should catch a giant tank pet. All right, here we go. Apparently this mosquito fish was too big, so we're throwing him back. No way. Let me see. Guys, Matias just got a tiny peacock. That's sick, dude. Guys, that's sick. Let's see, buddy. There it goes in the bucket. All right, we got one good fish for the tank. Got my rig, and I'm about to drop in two. There's one. Got him. Got him. Baby bat. No, baby pea. We doubled up on tiny peas. Look at that, that is so cool. Guys, look at this baby pea. That is so cool. On the little sabiki hook. Let's put him in the bucket. All right, see you, buddy. Dude, that's sick. Dude, sure look at it. Got him. Another pea. See how many peas we can get. Guys, yet another little peacock. Guys, this is crazy. We stumbled upon like a big school of baby peacock and we're just catching a ton of them. Got one. Oh, big bluegill. That's a decent bluegill. Too big for the tank. See, bud. All right, guys, we have a ton of little peacock. I'm gonna start releasing these guys. We obviously can't take home all of them, but I think I'm probably gonna keep two. And yeah, this will be pretty sick. Whichever one I catch last, I'm gonna keep. They're hard to catch. All right, we got, we got two though. Boom, another one going in. See, bud. Guys, 
because we got two peas left in the bucket and one little bluegill. Alright guys, we made it back to the house. We got the two peas and the bluegill in this bucket and we're going to transport them upstairs and start acclimating them in this bucket. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get this cup and we're gonna fill this blue bucket with water and we're gonna bring it upstairs and start acclimating them. First buddy, go in the bucket. We got the bluegill. And last pea, oh my gosh, dude, this one's healthy. Wow, dude, this one's actually really healthy. Come on, buddy. All right, boom, last pea. We got them all in the blue bucket, whoa. He almost jumped out. All right, let's get them upstairs. All right, guys, so we got this cup. And we're gonna get water from the tank and pour it into this. So now we're gonna wait a couple minutes and then put another cup in and so on for about... Can you stop cracking your ankles? <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna wait two minutes, put another cup of tank water in and slowly they should start to acclimate and then we're gonna put them in the tank. The tank looks really good. Looks a little yellow, that's just from the light though. All right guys, so they're acclimated. We've been waiting for about 10 minutes, I think. And I'm gonna get the bluegill first. Hey buddy, oh, he's feisty. Here's the bluegill. Let's put him in. See bud? Whoa, there he is. Oh, he looks sick. Oh, and he died. All right, guys, now we're going to put the peas in. Ready? Oh, there he goes. Oh, Here's the other one. That was sick. Guys, look at that. He looks so cool. They look so cool in the tank. The fish are in the tank. All three of them. That pea in the back looks really good. He's been swimming around. But yeah, a great way to help your fish de-stress after you put them in the tank is to turn the lights off. So we're going to turn these lights off. And then we're just gonna let these guys sit in the dark and kind of get used to their new environment. All right, guys, that is gonna do it for the video. Before I sign off, I'll show you guys a couple clips of these peas in a couple days. I'll just pop that up right now. Yeah, guys, they look really sick. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fish Report.